afternoon baseball now from beautiful Marlins Park. Digging into Hit hard on the ground to the right. And there's his first base hit in this one. Now a long throw to third. Throw will hold him at second, but the go heading's out here in a tie ball game. Heading out towards shallow right. Miller moving to his left. I can't imagine there. And it would appear we'll see a pinch hitter here as he'll try to get something started with the bases empty. And yeah, guys, it seemed like every time he swung the bat. Between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Chicago Cubs. Stay tuned for Cubs. Now at the plate, Chris working for the punch out and the offering. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Casto is on his way home. The runner scores from second. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. And not in time as the second run scores. And this is a dream start of an inning for the guys at the plate and a nightmare for the pitcher and the defense. No outs, runner at first and second, and he just ropes a triple to start what could be a little bit better. Or he can go back to that changeup. Ground ball right side. To his left, Valdez. Spin throw gets him at first. A great play, but a run. Make a perfect turn to turn two. The 0-1 on its way. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. Well, he was definitely struggling coming into this one, but I think we could say that cold streak is officially over. That's his second hit of the game, and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turn. His third win of the year. Harvey James struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that'll just about do it. Fort Harold doesn't get much better than this. So coming to the they play. They try to get one win in this place as they get ready to get out of here. Lifted the other way to left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. And I think that may have been a situation where the runner on first was waiting to see if the ball was going to get down or not. If there were two outs, he most likely scores there. Instead, he has to hold it third. Can't really fault him for that, though. So strong already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. So a three-run shot to right center field. Number 17 for him on the season. Yeah, the manager was looking for that lefty-lefty advantage. But someone forgot to tell the guy in the box that he was at a disadvantage because he just unloaded on that thing. Now this one ends to... Now from the windy city of Chicago, the forum here in this one. Rich King. Now a swing and a ball lofted down the right field line and fairly deep. And he will get there to make the running catch. Digging in once. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. And he takes ball four, so he's on. And as you know, that often means the steal. The 1 2 pitch. He's on the move again from first. Pitch misses the three. And is two for three to this point. A swing and a ball to left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. Miller rounds the corner and is headed home. Quality work. Sylvester Rubin takes the loss despite allowing only one unearned run. So that's a wrap here tonight for my partners in the nighttime skies over Wrigley Field on the north side of Chicago. Only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Richard Durbin earns the save out of the bullpen. His we are set to bring you baseball from one of the crown jewels of the sport. Now in the... A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Schmoll going back, still ranging back. 
See you later. Over the wall. Oh, it's a two-run shot to right center. Number 18 for him on the campaign. Boy, when the leading MVP candidate steps into the box, I'm not sure it's wise to challenge him, especially with a pitch like this, but they do. Now with the third. Third. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Lopez on the move, but he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. Now the relay home. And the Cubs will win this ball game in walk-off style. Fox, he was thinking about shortening his swing, finding a way to make contact and score that tying run. But he does even better than that, finding a way to drive the winning run in as well. For the Dodgers, four runs on nine hits. No well, the man you see right there had a game to be proud of. He really came through and it mattered, and he's our top split. Three hours and 12 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Wrigley Field, 45,936. As always, doesn't get much better than this. At the plate. Had him off balance a bit as this is skied into short left center. In there, a base hit. This guy is... Rafael. One and one, here it is. Pitch outside, the throw. He's in now, and he fouled that one off. Let's see if he comes back with a third one. Three in a row. Hit hard, back up the middle. And this will be a base hit as the runner will come into... Into the box. Shot toward right center. And a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. Well, every at bat counts. I mean, Rafael, Rafael Santos. Santos. He's running toward second. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. Full count. Here it comes. This is on the ground over to first. Napier gloves it. And he'll take it to the bag and Look at Petco Park here on a fine Friday night. Tonight, the first of this three-game. Standing in, Chris. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll be off the wall in right center. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1-0. And he will pull into second with an RBI double. Yeah, he's not fooling, and it's going to be a Evan. real short out. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. The runner scores from second. And he'll pull into second with one away. When he started this game, giving up three... Try to set and the two and one pitch. Line drive to left. That's in there. Base hit. And the runner from third crosses the plate. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. A tag. And they get him at the plate as one run scores. Ball game. On its way is pitch number 75. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Miller ranging back. A leaping effort and he brings it in. Two away now after a great effort. And he'll take those extra 90 feet. So put runners at the corners now with two gone in the inning. That was a pretty spectacular catch right there. A lot of guys mistimed that jump because they're worried about Robert Taylor. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Miller racing back. A leaping effort and he brings it in. Two away now after a great effort. Stepping up now. Going to have to make a perfect turn to turn two. Hit hard on the ground at first. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. And they will hold that runner over. Banging out 16 total hits. Rene Diaz earned his ninth win. This has Chicago been a presentation Cup. of MLB Network. Good night, everybody. Hits. One error and 13 runners left on base. For the Padres, five runners. Daytime baseball between the Chicago Cubs and the San Diego Pop. Into the box. 
slapped hard the opposite way. Catch is made. Here comes the runner from third. In to score, the runner from third. At the plate. Pitches in a row, Matt, that were away. If this is any indication from the rest of that bat. Meanwhile, now, this is a drive out to straightaway right field, and it's going to get out of here. A home run. Solo shot here to straightaway right field. Number 720 for his career. And the Cubs have come back to tie it at three. That ball was absolutely blasted. 113 miles an hour off the bat, according to show track. As you see the distance there, that's one that'll get people talking. A five to four, the final score. The Chicago Cubs rack up a division leading four. Richard Durbin hammers down the save, his 17th on the year. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Harold Reynolds, Dan Please, and we're going to have a pinch hitter to start things out here in the top half of the inning. Well, with the roof shut, the conditions will be comfortable here at Miller Park in Milwaukee. So coming to the plate, pitch on the way. And that'll get down for a two-out single. Some two-out success to keep the top of the first alive. Runner goes for second. Hey. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. Not all of your pitches this early on in the game, but that's a quality at bat. And what does it make you do as a pitcher? This ball's down, and that could bring in a run. And they're going to take a 1-0 lead as the run comes across to score. So he probably had the green light 3-0. Maybe he didn't get it where he wanted or get the pick. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he will make it back to second and be content with... And halfway to the cycle. Gave it a good ride, and that's the second time he's barreled up the ball. So he's he seen come across the in the losing the effort. Cup. So that'll just Eight about do it. For Harold head. Reynolds, Dan Plezak, no and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation. Wednesday Night Baseball now from Miller Park in Milwaukee. Tonight, the second of three to start the... So striding Lost last time out, and this portion of the schedule has not done him any favors. As they, There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And this one is gone, a home run. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left, and even 20 home runs for him now thus far, as the Cubs are out in front now two to nothing. That puts him in the 20-20 club, 20 home runs, 20 stolen bases. You don't see that very often anymore because guys don't run. Agua closes the door for the save, his 23rd of the campaign. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Harold Reynolds and Dan Pleasant. Almost ready for baseball in Milwaukee. The roof is closed and the atmosphere perfect inside. Digging in now. Really confident with. The 2-1 and one on its way. Now here's a ball hit in the air to straightaway right field. This ball's got plenty of carry to it, and it is out of here. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. Number 21 for him on the season, as the Cubs are out in front now two to nothing. I know height sight's 20-20, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday. So you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. Right fielder, Harry. And the 0-1 is lifted in the air out to right. And the move to the pinch hitter will not.